Calmonier, it's laughable that Highsmith and Pickett aren't pro bowlers. Man, Clowns. I would agree. I would agree, man. Bruh. Bruh. Dude, you laughed about it. Dude. It's, you didn't think it was actually going to happen. I didn't. <laughs> I, I didn't want to believe it, bro. Uh, you know Huntley's what? Huntley's the fourth alternate. All right, look, yeah, man. No big All right, deal. Look, look, look. You know what? I, I, I wasn't going to start there. He's in the Pro Bowl. I wasn't going to start with the Pro Bowl, but Come you know on. what? We're here. We're going to start with the Pro Bowl now, okay? They ain't going to make it make sense, Deke. I don't know, fam. I don't know. I did not think that it was really possible. I thought it was just like a ha-ha, kiki. He's the fourth alternate. Ha-ha, kiki. Funny, funny. Nothing else. This this is different, bro. Well, you know the conclusion I'm coming to right now. This is bad, bro. Did the Bills ruin the Pro Bowl? Not the Bills. Chill out. Josh Allen's the one that sat out to get Huntley in. The Bills are the he ones need- that took all of our Steelers spots, too. Yeah, that's like crazy. What about Joe Burrow? He ain't doing that. Yeah, why is he? Well, hey, exactly. what's funny yeah, with yeah, Allen, yeah, though, yeah. He's we all assume golf. the injury. <laughs> yeah, he's out of Pebble Beach. I, I'm seeing him at the par three, dotting hey, up the greens hey, and making putts. Hey, good for his mental health, I'll man. give him credit. He's it's got good a good golf swing. Health. He looks like he's a good player. It's Josh Allen. What you thought? Come on, bro. Would you expect Ben to have a bad golf swing? Exactly. So don't expect Josh to have a bad golf swing, man. Let's go. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> it's your head, man. When I thought, I was like, oh, all right. Yeah. It actually happened. Oh, and we had new news. Tua just cleared the concussion protocol from the concussion he had in December. Uh, yeah, Been they literally month. just put that on ESPN, man. So definitely want to shout that out. Good to hear that he is doing better. Like the health. But yeah, back to this Pro Bowl situation, man. I blame Joe Burrow. Okay? Joe Burrow ruined the Pro Bowl. Josh needed some mental health recovery, some wellness. All of the controversy, you know, all of the, the oh, you suck, you ain't been, remember all, all that, y'all still, da, 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 da. so he, he was sad. So that's why he wanted to go play some golf to clear his mind. I do the same thing. It helps me out too. But that opened the door for, I guess, your boy Tyler Huntley. Yeah, there was a direct your correlation boy. with Allen sitting out and Huntley yeah. getting in. Because when Burrow sat out Chill, there, man. Carr got in. No, 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 that's different, man. Carr got in because Allen sat out. Yeah, there we leave it like that, man. So the initial three were Mahomes. <laughs> I think it was Burrow. And Allen. And Allen. Yeah. Okay. So my home Super Bowl mm-hmm. out. Allen sat because he's supposed to be resting in. Allen sat. Herbert was an alternate, but he had yeah. shoulder surgery. Uh huh. Trevor Lawrence replaced Mahomes. Yep. Huntley replaced Allen. And then Burrow sat. And that's when Carr got in. Yeah. And yeah. I think Tua might have been an alternate too, yeah. but obviously but he's he was in the still protocol. dealing with this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Huntley just doesn't belong in this list right here. It stands out so bad, bro. So bad. I can't even justify. I've been trying so hard. You I was can't. like, you know there, what? There's none. I was he like, started I four can't, games, bro. Bro, I got a better he case for didn't Jacoby play good Brissett. in any of those games. We got a better case for Jacoby Brissett. We got a better case for um. Oh my goodness, what's the- there's a better case for Jared Stidham. I'm looking at bro, these stats. Bro, right I was now. about to say like like shoot, <laughs> get I'll throw Mac Jones in there. I would throw Mac in there over him. Like we we can go down the list. Ryan the, Tannehill, like the, Matt the list, Ryan, Davis the list Mills, of quarterbacks, Russ, the list of AFC quarterbacks. Yes, I would put Russ in over Huntley, man. Oh. Mitch. Yes, yes, absolutely I would. Why, why not? If Tyler Huntley is a pro bowler, Mitch Trubisky is a pro bowler At to least me, man. Mitch had the Bucks game. He absolutely. had that really good Panthers game. Had the game-winning drive against and, the Bengals and, in week And one. he was actually winning because he was throwing the ball and doing some good stuff. Not everybody is carrying you and you just... I don't even know how he... Man, stop Tyler it, Huntley averaged 109 yards per bro, game. This is terrible. This is Four tragic. Four starts, it's two touchdowns, three I hate picks. It. <laughs> Has a 41 QBR. I hate how? It. Like, I hate how? It. Listen, listen. Can I just say something for the record? Can I say something for the record? Don't y'all ever talk about Tyrod Taylor Pro Bowl again. All right? You said something about his Pro Bowl I before. I still don't accept that you one. You said his, something about his Bridge Pro Bowl Waters, before. A couple uh-uh. of Dalton's are no, fluky uh-uh, too. Uh-uh, nah. All three of those gentlemen you just named, Tyrod, Two Gloves, and the Red Rifle. All three of them dudes. Head and shoulders, way more deserving of the Pro Bowl than do, right? Not even they were the alternates then. They were the fourth alternates then. That's all I'm saying. Those guys head and shoulders above my man Tyler Hunt. I right? agree with that. Head they and shoulders, shouldn't man. have gotten the head Pro and Bowl shoulders. to begin with, though. Head and shoulders, man. Looking back, either. But I would say my my big case is this. I mean, obviously, we were talking about all the other AFC quarterbacks that could qualify over Huntley, but mm. I feel like between now, Carr already got in with Burrow sitting out. Yeah. But let's say Allen sits out here. Mm-hmm. And then the remaining guys, I'm taking KP8. Bro, we're, man, I'm taking Kenny over him anyways. I'm taking I'm taking Kenny over Derek Carr, too. A, a cool either way, but it's like, bro, why isn't he in there? 
That's the point. Like if Huntley's <laughs> getting in, there's no reason <laughs> why Kenny Pickett should not be in. Like, like I don't think you understand. And I think and I think Kenny yeah. Pickett legitimately had a better season than all the other yeah. guys we named: Tannehill, Brissett, Mac I'm, Jones, Matt like, Ryan, like said, Davis Mills, Russ. I'm with you. I'm with you. This is a big issue, man. But then and I take him over Carr. Like this is an issue, man. This is an issue. And the problem too is this: yes, we will sit here and in the moment say, you know, it doesn't matter. Who cares? But then when it's Hall of Fame time, you know the first thing they bring up? How many Pro Bowls? How many All-Pros you got? How many Super Bowls do you have? This is an issue, bro. This is bad business. This is bad business, man. Never did I really think Pickett would be a serious candidate for the Pro Bowl. but No, he, he, he he's a Pro Bowl as well in my eyes. If Tyler Huntley's a exactly. certified Pro he's a Pro So you mean to tell me Baltimore, because, Baltimore because got two Pro Bowl quarterbacks right now. I'm just trying to tell me. <laughs> they got Lamar Jackson and they got Tyler Huntley. Well, Jackson has a better case than Huntley, but he's been hurt too. I think he was an alternate. Bruh. I'm taking Lamar injured and throwing him out there over God Dig on Tyler Huntley, man. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It's egregious, dude. It's it's really egregious. And yeah. some people are complaining about like it's the votes, but I'm also seeing other people say it was a combination of yeah. votes yeah. for the fans, yeah. players and coaches. So how is Huntley getting See, in? How is he getting I don't in? remember that combination being like that. I remember all pros being coaches, player element. I remember, or no, it's more like just coaches, excuse me, for all pro. I remember for Pro Bowl, it's, man, no. That's fan votes. It's fan votes that do the Pro Bowl. I was seeing some people say they changed it recently and they got some other additions no. in there, But too. say, because when I remember, I remember it was like, yeah, it was always fan vote. That's what we always say. It was a popularity contest. But this is bad, bro. Well, you know how politicians and... Society the, really. The ballot, bro. Well, I was gonna say, the ballot, you know how man. everyone starts the ballot, pushing. Bro. Hey, we gotta go out and vote when election time's up. Hey, obviously hey. when Pro Bowl time's up, it looks like we gotta do our due diligence too. Well, you know too what here. we need to do? You know what we need to do? Let's crash the Pro Bowl. <laughs> how about we do that? Okay, I'll put my feet up on Roger Goodell's desk. How about I? How about <laughs> we do that? Okay, I'll put my feet up on his desk. Okay, we're gonna run through. We're gonna take over that spot. All right, we're gonna let them know this is a fake election that Kenny is supposed to be in the Pro Bowl. If Tyler Huntley's in there, the votes couldn't have counted. Something had to be wrong. Something had to be wrong. Thought it was a joke. I did too. Thought look, it was look, a joke, and look it who's actually happened. Now. Look who's laughing now. Does this give the Ravens more leverage though, with the <laughs> negotiations with Lamar seriously? Because they got a Pro Bowl enough. No, if it's I'm Tyler, too late. They if already I'm locked Tyler in Huntley, on Lamar. If I'm Tyler Huntley, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You call me Pro Bowler for the rest of my life. I'm Pro Bowler. Matter of fact, when we negotiate contract, I'm a Pro Bowler. Remember that, baby. All right, pay me like one. Pay me like one. Tyler Dagon. It's a joke. Like it's literally a joke. It like I want to shout out Cam Hayward for getting the Pro Bowl in. means nothing. Like shouting it out literally Cam means getting nothing, in. No. I'm like, yo, I'm happy for Cam, but I'm just like, yo, it doesn't feel like it matters. Because the tragedy, like, how the heck is it? That's what I said like, yesterday. I'm like, okay, I just, yeah. Cam now has six Pro Bowls. That's cool. That probably bumps his right. Hall of Fame resume up. But at the same time, we just, uh, it, the I'm Pro like, Bowl was already a joke, but, like, now it's officially, it, it's past yeah. any line of coming But once back. again, the problem is, when it is time for Hall of Fame conversations, this constantly comes up. Constantly. And we're going to act like this type of stuff has not happened. When it's time to talk, who should get into the uh, Hall of Fame and who should not be? They bring this type of stuff up, though. How many Pro Bowls you got? How many you got? It's like, bro, come on, man. What are we doing? I think we need to change that now. Don't take the Pro Bowl seriously. Because obviously the NFL isn't taking it seriously. Or who, whoever is getting these people in. Yeah. If it was strictly by fan votes, fans aren't taking it seriously. Yeah, it's bad business, man. If it's a combination of fans, players, yeah. and coaches, they ain't taking it seriously. Yeah, bad business, man. It would just be crazy. Kenny Pickett, Pro Bowl. That would have been cool to say after his rookie year. Well, why not? If they're going to say Tyler Huntley is a Pro Bowl off of this season specifically, you have to say that Kenny Pickett is the Pro Bowler as well because Kenny had the way better season. If we're talking at, like apples to apples, both played quarterback, both weren't the week one starters either. Like, what we, man. I'm not even messing with you. I, I brought up Jared Stidham. Like, he has Bro, like, a better case I'm than trying, Huntley. I, like, when I said Jacoby Brissett, Sam Ellinger, was, when, he has three touchdowns, listen, three picks. When I said Jacoby Brissett, I was being dead games. serious. When I said Brissett, I was being dead serious, and I only thought of him because uh, who was it? Was it Norie that brought him up the other day? Brought up Jacoby Brissett, and we were like, "Yo, we felt As Kenny." A backup, yeah, we yeah. said we was like, "Yo, Kenny, we felt was better than him." It's like, yo, I even think that he should be a Pro Bowler over Tyler Huntley if we talk about this season. Bailey Zappi, shout out to Bailey. He averaged 195 yards per game, five touchdowns, three interceptions. Yeah, bro. <laughs> what? 
Make it make sense, man. Joe Flacco, make five touchdowns, sense. three picks, two hundred ten right. yards per game. Flacco is elite, man. Let him get it. Yeah, you're right. We already talked about Mitch. Yeah. Hell, Zach Wilson. Yeah. No, maybe not. Maybe not. He, 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 54 completion percentage, 187 yards per game, six touchdowns. Let, let him get another milk you change his mind. Let him get another milk you change his mind. <laughs> let, let him hit another friend. Uh huh. That's terrible, bro. That yeah. is so bad. Yeah. But, like, I can understand, you know, Mahomes, Herbert, Bur- Burrow, Josh Allen, Lawrence. Hell, it's, even Tua. It's too many high-quality. I, I can understand those guys making the Pro Bowl. But, but once many, you start yeah. going down the alternates yeah. and these guys are sitting out and then you get a guy like Huntley and they're yeah. like, no, Kenny Pickett should be a Pro Bowl. Right. That's because what pisses me off. That's, it's too many other deserving guys than Tyler Huntley, and that is the big issue with this name, man. Yeah. 